Hi everybody, my name is Dario and I'm representing Fluido. We're a software company based in San Diego, California, and we're very active in the 5G network virtualization space. Most people expect network virtualization to eventually benefit cost, flexibility, and even performance. The option of deploying networks as software running on general purpose servers should bring actual hardware software disaggregation and should disrupt the vendor's ecosystem should enable new players in a market that had few for a long time. There are challenges though. One that's mentioned often is system integration. Ultimately, the end users need optimized end-to-end -end systems, and that may be harder to achieve in a disaggregated multi-vendor environment. The other challenge most often mentioned is the implementation of the physical layer for layer one, L1. The concern being that the efficiency of specialized hardware may not be achievable on general purpose servers. And this challenge is actually what we focus on at Fluido. We have worked on it for years on x86, and more recently we started working on ARM. Today I'm going to talk about some of our results on a new ARM platform, and that's Graviton to servers. Most of our code base is portable across platforms, but there are certain functions that do require platform-specific optimization. We were happy to learn that ARM offers the Run Acceleration Library, RAL in short, with optimized software for 5G networks. Our results today are mostly about upper layer one at the DU side. RAL actually hides the complexity of vector programming to the developers. Instead of writing complex code almost as for a legacy DSP, the developers can just call their all functions and not worry about the vector programming under the hood. And here's the documentation that comes with it. It's very well written and uh, should be familiar to anybody who has experience with Linux development. In particular, we use the GCC toolchain and we have used a release that dates back to January 2021 and at this moment it's the latest release available. If we look at the modules available today we find a variety of functions that range from mathematical utilities for vector operations to more specific run utilities for lower phi and even for DRU. Today we're going to focus on utilities for the upper phi more specifically, we're going to focus on CRC and polar encoding. Here's our AWS instance. It's a Graviton 2 CPU with four cores. This is the name of the instance on Amazon. It's up and running. We have an IP address, so we can connect to it from the local shell. We installed the server version of Ubuntu 20.04 and we use the kernel that comes with AWS images. Earlier we compiled the code and we can now test the profilers. We can start with the CRC. We chose parameters that are typical of a um, gigabit downlink throughput in a RAN system. And we got very good profiling results, in particular the RAL implementation it's about 30 times faster. The reference implementation here is a portable open source implementation that doesn't use any of the NeoVer specific instructions that RAL take advantage of. The results are very similar if we look at the profiler for the Polar Encoder. We got our full layer one implementation profiled on this Graviton 2 instance and the results are very promising across the board. Our efforts today are focused on LTPC encoding and decoding. Based on our experience on AVX development for x86, we are writing code optimized for the Neoverse instruction set and maybe we will contribute it to RAL at some point. We are also working on more integration tasks like integration of more RAL blocks, integration of L2 vendors, and integration of split 7 radio vendors. We target later this year for end-to-end -end testing and lab or field trials. 
We believe this platform can support commercial deployments of full-stack 5G networks.